you mentioned how it's important for the IFP to stay together and in many aspects many have compared the EFF and the IFP um, when it comes to uh, issues of leadership and transition. Why was it so important for you to emphasize the uniting of the IFP in a time such as this? Now look, the context of emphasizing the unity of Inkata Freedom Party is because not just political parties, but institutions that are started by black people, are founded by black people. Be it churches, be it businesses, be it whatever formation. Whenever the founding fathers and the founding leaders depart, they always split into different and uncoordinated organizations. And that is the question that we're giving that the IFP must not follow the route of so many organizations that are founded by black people. So if you were to go and check in the history of South Africa, in the recent past or even in history, you realize that whenever the founding fathers of organizations, whether it's churches or businesses or an initiative or a program, whenever the founding fathers leave this earth, those who remain begin to fight amongst themselves. And that is the question that we are giving to the IFP that do not be entangled in unnecessary fights of egos as to who must lead. The IFP has got a president, has got a secretary general, they must work together to build the organization and take it forward, whatever it stands for. And it is important for the IFP to remain united in this critical juncture of South Africa's politics. Because 2024, there's going to be change of political leadership in South Africa. And the IFP will play one of the most important roles in how we get to reconstitute government that is not led by the African National Congress. So if the IFP destabilizes, it is going to weaken the change, the long overdue change, which our people have been looking up to, to say that let us make 2024 to be 1994 where we then redefine South Africa's politics without the ANC. Let us define the future without the ANC. So the IFP must remain united. Egos must dwindle into insignificance. There must be purpose of unity. There must be unity of purpose so that the organization continues.